What up, YouTube? Webhead Mike here, and once again, we now have an update on Wizards of the Coast from their OGL 1.2, as they're calling it. It looks a whole lot better, a lot better messaging, a lot better wording. However, I'm aware of some things called comfort clauses that can be worked into this to, 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 to seemingly put you at ease but not take away some things that they might want to do, like, oh, no, 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 don't worry. We're not going to do this. Oh, no, no, don't worry. We we wouldn't do this. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be advantageous to either of us. Oh, no, 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 no. If we did this, we might be breaking the contract. However, I will also be regarding roll, what was it? roll for combat, roll of law, and D&D &D shorts to see what information they're coming up with, because they seem to be the the uh, three best sources regarding this matter. No slight to anyone else, that's just who comes up in my feed first, and they seem to have a good cross-section of gameplay and legal knowledge, especially with Roll of Law, who is a lawyer and likes playing these role-playing games. And Roll for Combat keeps getting all these great experts coming on, giving giving their opinions, what was the intent of the original OGL 1.0a, kind of like making it almost like a, the system a, a Linux of the role-playing game. And then D&D Shorts just keeps getting all these juicy little tidbits coming in. Now, however, the Fellowship does seem to be holding strong. We're not seemingly uh, coddled by these soothing words that are being spoken to us that might as well be sweet nothings, because... We've already been burned once. We, we saw them tip their hand. We know what could be coming, so we are going to remain vigilant. And thankfully, it seems that that will be the case going forward. Now again, I would love to see Hasbro and, and Wizards of the Coast be great stewards of, Wiz of um, Dungeons & Dragons as they've been for almost a decade. It is amazing to see how they benefited more from the original OGL 1.0a than any of the um, in independent creators did. Because again, to use that creator-made content, you needed to buy their products. And and I gotta say, some of the books are really, really good. Like, I love that Mythic Odysseys of Theros. I'm not going to stop playing a 5e game. Matter of fact, I've got one going on right now. However, I'm going to be sure to make sure that there are other games in my rotation to get a little bit more diverse nuances and viewpoints to make sure that I don't get stale or stodgy with any of this. Because, I mean, even Gary Gygax said, you gotta play other games, you can't just play D&D. However, though, that... But yes, yeah, so, however, though, we see on Twitter, D&D be gone... Hashtag open d and they're still trending. And that's good, because the community needs to be aware of what's coming, what could happen, how we could be burned. And this isn't some call to abandon d and or burn the books. like, And it's not something to say like, oh, this is like a, a 2.0 witch hunt or sat satanic panic 2.0. I mean, maybe there's some myopic midwits out there trying to farm clicks or something for rage or negativity, but no one's stopping me from playing. I wouldn't stop anyone else from playing 5e. Because, again, there's, a, there's the stories that we love. It's the most popular, and therefore it's, it's almost like speaking English in the world. You know, it's very easy to communicate with everybody and make things happen. But yeah, no, we've got so much to look forward to, though. We've got whole worlds of possibilities going forward. I mean, the world is the oyster. However, again, like, we got to make sure that Open D&D and D&D be, be gone stay trending so that way Wizards of the Coast knows, listen, we know you have things planned. We know you have things going forward that probably aren't going to be deviated. But if you don't handle this property right, you'll have 4th edition all over again. And I, and I can't help but feel that part of this is because all these people coming in that are running Hasbro and Wizards of the Coast have a Microsoft background in terms of electronic gaming or mobile gaming. 
and not role play gaming. They want to have that recurrent spending, that subscription service, so that way they can keep getting things over and over and over again. And I gotta say, if they were being better stewards of the brand, I guess I wouldn't have so many reservations about it, nor would so many of us others. But we're, but we're gonna keep our eyes open, our ears open, our hearts open too, because we love this. We don't want it to go away. I don't wanna see the lore of all this, 5e and all of Dungeons and Dragons and all the Forgotten Realms go away because I've come to like this. I would like it to remain. I would like to have good stewards of this brand. Not people thinking they're masters. Kind of like how in the Sonic movie, when people saw the initial trailer, the director said, okay, we hear you, I hear you, so I'm going to make sure Sonic looks better. And guess what happened? It did so well, it We've got a sequel and a third one coming. It's not rocket science. Another thing to do that would put us all at ease would be hearing Cynthia Williams is now no longer going to be in her position at Wizards of the Coast and we wish her well in her future endeavors as we search for a different leadership for Wizards of the Coast. But I'm sure Ego has a lot to do with this. They have a lot of moving parts that they've already set in motion that they can't just turn. Like, with the Titanic when it, when it saw the iceberg. It couldn't just stop. It has so much mass and, in, uh, and inertia from the velocity that, that it's not going to... Like, maybe you can turn it a little bit, but you can't stop it. But we know this. Or at least we should. Anyway, though, I'm not going to ramble any more about this. I want to thank you for paying attention this, this long. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Am I right or wrong? Is there something more I should be going into? All right, then. Until next time, Webhead Mike, out.